Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video we're going to actually start creating our basic wireframe uh, using CSS. So based on our previous um, ending uh, spot from the last video, we're now going to click on to my styles. Now we're going to go through a process of styling this particular uh, page. So the first thing that I always like to do, and I always like to put a little note in here, is just to remember to default uh, my tags. So what I've done there is added in a comment. So in order to default the tags, we just list the tags in order of what we've created. So in this case, we've got a body tag. We then had a div tag for our wrapper. We then had a, a header tag. We then had another div tag for our content container, but we don't need to default those additional div tags. And then we've got an aside and we've got a footer. So these are all now going to have defaulted margins and padding. The reason we do this is because different browsers have different values for uh, padding and margins for each of their block element tags. So the next step we want to do is we want to go through and generate each of our individual tags. In this case, we're going to create our body tag, we're now going to create our wrapper. So because it's got an ID, we need to put the hash in there. So we've got our wrapper. Uh, we then want to do all of our other tags and sites. We've got a header. We have a content container. We have a footer. And then we've got the kids. So we've got a, again, a article container. And we have an aside. So these are sort of the basic tags that we would use for creating our particular site here. So the next step that we want to do is we want to start adding in the various pieces of content. So in this case, we want to set our body's background to black. So we would go background color and then color. And we'll set it to, to a black. Uh, in the case of our wrapper, we want to center it. So the first thing we do that is we go margin, auto, allows us to center that particular box. Uh, and then we want to set the wrapper's color to white. So we set background color to white. Now, in order to show this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my wireframe from the right-hand side here to another screen, and I'm going to show you the design view so that you can see how this thing is built up um, over each particular stage. So I'm going to go into a split mode so we can see it, and I'm going to put it into live mode here. So at the moment, we don't see any of the other uh, wrappers or things being created because I've got no width or heights, etc. So let's give it a width. In this case, we want to make it 960 pixels. And in terms of visualizing it in our wireframe, let's just quickly give it a height. I'll make it say 500 pixels. And then we can start viewing that content on the side here. We can see now that it's centered in the, in the side of that particular um, design. Uh, I always put a little note in here to say to remove just so that I know that that height I will remove later when I've got content that will generate the automatic height for me. Uh, in terms of the header, our header was blue. So let's make our background color a blue color. That one will do. Our content, oh, and uh, let's give it a height as well. Uh, we'll just make that 100 pixels. And we should be able to see that now. So let's just refresh. So now we've got our header up there. Um, let's do the same thing for our footer, just because it's easy. So we'll just grab exactly the same content here because we made it the same color. And again, uh, let's just refresh. So we can see that our footer's been styled in there because we haven't put any styling in for our content container yet. Uh, now our content container we've also made blue, so I'll grab that, and we'll make this a little bit bigger, we'll make this say 500 pixels, 
So now what we should see is a view of the whole thing being taken up. So that was uh, 500, 600, 700. That's actually bigger than the wrapper that I made originally. So let's just make that um, 800 pixels. Again, just so that we can see that that wrapper is still behind our various tags here on this side. Let's just uh, decrease the width so we can see that there. So I'll just bring my wireframe over. So our wireframe looked like this. Um, it's a little bit different to our current view here. We've got a little bit of uh, margin and we've got some padding. So let's start adding in that margin padding before we start putting the children into that particular site. So we've got a little bit of margin around our wrapper. Um, and we've also got it around our headers and, and all the rest of the things as well. So inside my wrapper, let's start adding in some padding. Um, around 10 pixels of padding will do. And then if we view that, we can now start seeing that external uh, padding being produced in, inside this particular thing here. But you'll notice that when I add padding, that also adds to the size of the box. So I need to remove the padding from the left and right from my width and from the top and the bottom from my height. Because I'm going to remove my height later, I don't worry about it at this stage, but I do want to remove that padding uh, from that width there. And again, that now puts it back to a 960. So the next step I want to do is add those, uh, that little bit of uh, margin and padding um, underneath the, the various um, headers, etc. So in this case, I'm going to put my margin onto my content container. Uh, I'm going to have a margin top of 10 pixels, and I'm also going to have a margin bottom of 10 pixels. Again, now we can start seeing that um, appearing here. So we're now starting to get that, that look that we wanted and that we saw in the original right wireframe. So if I bring that across, we can now start seeing that original look that we wanted. So the next step that I want to do is I want to start adding in the, the children. So we come down to our article container here. Again, uh, in this case, we want to go background color is now going to be green. That green will do. And again, we need um, our widths and our heights now because it's not going to take up the whole 100%. So let's now say our width is going to be say 66%. So we have golden mean ratios and our height, let's just set it at uh, 300 pixels for now. And Let's see what that looks like. So now we've got our, our green container starting to form here. Let's create our side, which I think is a pink. So again, let's just copy those values and we'll edit them here. So our background color was more of a, like a ready pink. So let's just sort of go, that will do. And in this case, our width is gonna be 33%. And we'll just keep the height the same. So we'll notice here that the box has actually gone underneath, and this is because we need to float the boxes in that, um, in that parent box here. So let's now start floating our various boxes. So our article container, we want to float to the left-hand side. And our side, we want to float to the right-hand side. And we can now start seeing that construction process happening here. Again, we want to make sure that we have that padding uh, internal. So if we go back to our, um, our content container, let's add in some padding, 10 pixels, and view. So we can now see that that padding has been added in. Now, because we've added that padding in, we need to make sure that we reduce our size here. So all of that's back to normal. So we've now got our margins, we've got our padding. It's starting to look good. So now what we want to do is let's delete this height from our content container because we don't need it there. But watch what happens. Notice how the, the content container now has um, retracted beyond the, um, beyond the children and that the footer is slid up as well. Now what we need to do is we need to put our overflow to hidden. And what this will do is it will now extend that background container 
to the size of the kids. So now we've got our, our basic construction of our, um, of our body, our wrapper, our header, our content container, our article container, our side, and our footer. Next step we just need to do is remove this height from the wrapper and we should be done. So inside of our wrapper, we now want to remove that height. And now we've created our basic wireframe. So we've got our, as I said before, body, wrapper, all the rest of the things. And now we can start adding content to this particular um, wireframe.